Someone's telling you that your wireless is actually slow? Well, how do you find that out? I'm Ronnie Wong, and I'm here to tell you what the pros know. One of the most common complaints that we can have, of course, on networks is that the wireless is actually running slow, but when you go and connect, everything seems to be fine. So how can you tell if the wireless is really going to actually be running slow or is it someone's perception of it? Well, one of the neat and free utilities that's out there on the internet is one that is called iPerf. And you can find that right here at this particular link uh, that you actually see right here, this URL. And you can go there and you can download it for free and you can use it for free. And I just wanted to actually take a look at one of the simple tests that we can do when it comes down to actually figuring out whether or not your wireless is actually running slow. Now for us to be able to do this fairly, you have to actually have a couple of things in mind. There has to of course be a server and there has to be a client in the way that iPerf3 actually ends up working. So what I've done is I have another machine sitting right next to me that is plugged into my wired network is what's happening here. And I end up taking iPerf here and I run it as a server. Let me show you how to do that right now. So I've downloaded, of course, the files that I needed from this site. And then we're just going to come over here to my command, uh, to my uh, terminal. From there, I'm going to go into the folder, uh, navigate into the folder where I'm going to find iPerf. And on the other machine, this is essentially what I ended up doing, is that I ended up running, oops, got to make sure I'm actually typing the right thing, iPerf-s, okay? Now, if you run iperf-s, that turns it into a server, and it is now going to be listening. Let me show you what that ends up looking like, and you'll see where it actually says server is listening on port 5201. Well, I don't really want to do that on this server. I just wanted to show you that example. So that's actually running on a machine that's over here to my left uh, as we start to, to, to see things, right? Now, that's plugged in, like I said, to the wired network, but now the laptop that I'm using that I'm demonstrating here with this is going to be on my wireless network that I need to test. Now, both machines have to, of course, be sharing that network or it's not going to work. So I'm actually on the IT Pro TV wireless network, and this one is also on the wired network of that, so everything should be fine. Now, for me to run this test, there's a couple of different tests that I need to run. It's the same kind of configuration here. Instead, this time, I'm going to do a, uh, a dash C, and then I need the IP address of that server, okay, which is going to be 10.0.12.138. And when I press enter, you'll now see here's the response that I'm actually taking a look at. Now, we're not so worried about it. This actually has to run through quite a bit. And you can see my transfer speed and the bandwidth that I'm getting. But what we're looking at are the last two lines. Notice that what I've just uh, showed you here, right, is the idea of the sender and the receiver here. And what you're actually seeing is the bandwidth is right about 100 uh, megabits or so as we start seeing that. Now, the other thing, though, that we can also test is going to be just getting information from the server. So if I do this here and I run it again, we'll actually get a fair kind of test here. The other one was the client sending data up to that server. And now I'm actually saying, hey, why don't we also do this test where I'm actually getting data from the server as well? So you can see from the other side, where I'm actually uh, sending data out to that server, make sure I'm actually telling you right, no, yeah, I'm sending data out to that server, then I'm actually going to see that where I'm actually sending, and this time what I'm looking for, of course, is the receiving number, and so that way you can verify whether this is within the range of what you're actually expecting to see. Now, this has to kind of vary a little bit. You're never going to get like a full gigabit, even though your wireless may say a full gigabit but is it within the range that you would actually have as your baseline? So both of those commands are actually critical when you do a fair wireless test. And this is not testing out to the internet, this is simply testing your wireless network. And if it's within the range here, that probably means your wireless is per performing fine exactly where you are. Now to actually do this clearly and make sure that everything is actually gonna be consistent is that you would also go to another wireless access point if you have multiple wireless access points and do the same thing and get as much data as you can. Well, if you want to truly test out your wireless network and whether or not it's actually doing what it needs to, you can use iPerf, and that is what the pros know. Check out our playlist to see more what the pros know videos, and be sure to subscribe to the IT Pro TV channel. 
I'm Ronnie Wong, and now you know what the pros know.